Hey guys, thank you guys for stopping in on this video. Hope that you enjoyed today's video and make sure you watch till the end because we have a special surprise. And so make sure you stay tuned for that. And if you enjoy this video, please make sure you like and hit the subscribe button because these things take a lot of work to produce. And yeah, subscribe because why not? It's free. It don't cost you anything. And make sure you don't unsubscribe. That's not a very friendly thing to do. So don't be that person that unsubscribes. But anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Hope that you enjoy it, and I'll see you guys at the end. Look, here we go. Look, we have another delivery here. So we're going to take guesses on what you guys think this could possibly be. What do you think it possibly is? A lot of money. Yeah, you definitely got that right. A lot for a small package, but it's really big just in a small package. Yeah, it folds out quite well. So I guess you guys are going to have to wait just a couple of seconds to figure out what it is, but... We got those big rails that have to go inside and we're gonna put these two things inside. So I guess you guys are gonna see what they are. thoughts on it. It looks just about like the, the chicken reaper. Some of the things I notice is the uh, it's got gnarls. But do you know why they're gnarled? Because they're running on metal. They're running on a steel track instead of a wood track. It's red. We like red stuff don't we? Yeah. The basket is smaller. Oh yeah, it is. It's a lot narrower, but um, but it's not that much deeper either, is it? No, uh, it's not as deep, but it's uh, narrower. It looks like we still have to hang all those stinking brackets. <laughs> yeah, I'm illegal. We had to. Somebody got hurt with a pocket knife somewhere in the company. And we had to go over a safety thing and we cannot use straight edge blades anymore. Where? At work. Oh, at your work? Yeah. Your day job? Mm-hmm. Yep. So are you going to give a life lesson here? No, I'm just saying we're not adopting that policy here. Oh. <laughs> so these rails, are they 30 feet long? No, they are not. Aren't they supposed to be 30 feet long? They're 22 and a half. 22 and a half usable because they have a swedge on them and you can't count that because the other one slides over that end. So 22 and a half feet. We have enough to do 607 feet. That's only one house. No, we have, there's two bundles. 
Oh. See, you're packing slips, one or two, so there's two bundles here. So one bundle will do 607 feet. How long is the house? 600. It's, drumsticks is five and true vine is six. No, 605. 605. So one of the reasons why we decided to go with the metal or the poultry hawk is we're completely happy with the chicken reaper it's performing well for us it's just we want it to have the metal rail because one the price of wood is so high getting this set up was only about fifteen hundred dollars more than what the reapers were and then with putting this in the barn we only ha have to hang a bracket from the truss every 10 feet where if the wood we have to hang it every five so that was another reason we decided to go with the poultry hawk is because we are putting them in ourselves. I can't tell you when we're going to be doing that. I'm assuming at the end of the flock, maybe. But the end of our flock is probably going to be right there in planting season, so who knows what's going to happen. But they're here. They're sitting here. They can be installed just about any time we have time to install them. And then I can link the video of us putting in the chicken reaper up here in the little corner. So that way you guys can go back and watch that too. So for today's job, we are working on that thing right there. The good old Spartan lawnmower. So, it's not getting anything done crazy too. It's just getting a regular service job, getting ready for the mowing season because this lawnmower covers around about 10 acres a week of mowing between our house and we have a few other people's yards that we mow. So, it covers a lot of ground. So, it, should, it gets an oil change, grease, blades, all that good stuff. So, you guys are here for the ride. So that means we got blades right here to do and then they'll be swapped back on. We'll drop it back down. And in case you're wondering, I was under the deck, and you can see I have it nice and blocked up safe so I don't become a vegetable. Welcome back today guys. Thank you guys for stopping in. It's the next day here. So as you can see, we have two dirt bikes sitting here and a third one back there, but we don't worry about it. So this is the 125 gas gas and that's the Yamaha 250. So right now you can see the gas gas does not look like much of a dirt bike at all. That is because it's getting motor work done to it, just normal wear and tear stuff. And it's getting suspension work done. Don't look at our table. It looks like a junk hole, but it's an organized chaos mess. So right here, we are working on the rear shock and it is leaking oil. So we are gonna put a new seal kit in it. And would you like to explain what else we are doing? Cause it's above my knowledge. Uh, I bought a race tech gold valve, special parts. I'll make it go super fast. So this is how a shock is not supposed to work. It's supposed to be smooth all the way with resistance and you can see right here it lets go and then it pops out. So it needs a rebuild. More than likely all that oil that leaked out is causing that. So we are in the process of getting the shock put back together. We changed the oil and the bushings and all that. So this is the Race Tech Go Valve. So we had to get, or we had to get online, or my dad got online, and he had to put in my weight and like what shock we had in the bike I rode. And you see all these shims on here? They look like washers. There is a certain order that those go in to match the weight in the bike I ride. So we have the shock all put back together. We got oil in it. So we're going to show you the correct way on how it's supposed to work. Push down on it and I can press it all the way. When I go to release it, you can see how smooth of a release it has. There's no jerking or anything on that. And that may be one because it has new oil and fresh oil in it. And two, well that's probably the only reason. And it's got new bushings in it too. Oh. <laughs> Okay, ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Action! 
<laughs> hey guys, thank you guys for making it to the end of the video. So me and Brawley are here. We got some good news. So we're going to be doing a free giveaway. As you know, we made a logo here recently. So we have paired up with a um, small business. We're going to be making some shirts. Or they're going to be making some shirts for us. So we're going to do the first 10 people that comment down below will be the ones that win a free t-shirt, a Farmer King shirt with my logo and the YouTube stuff on there. And in order to do that, you gotta be the first 10 people that comment on the video and also comment something on there that you liked about this video. And then we will notify you through the comments that you've won a prize and I'll give you my email so that way you can email me your shirt and address, your shirt size, so that way we can get it mailed out to you. Thank you guys for all the support. I'm really excited to do this, hope it goes well. And just thank you for all the support and I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember, faith, family, farming. See you in the next one.